Here at Wimbledon High, the Steam Plus philosophy underpins everything we do. It's not about what we learn, it's about how we learn it. And Steam Plus is all about making connections, staying curious, looking into the gaps and tinkering around the edges. We're looking to be playfully studious and to see true scholarship as an adventure. And let us take you a little way on that adventure right now. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts and Maths. It is an approach which powerfully brings together these disciplines to problem solve for the real world. But STEAM Plus is a broader approach where we can see the interlinking of all sorts of different subjects and we think it's the overlaps between subjects where the really interesting ideas dwell. And it's those interesting ideas that we want our students to be excited about. We're in Year 10 and we're part of the Social Robots team, which is a co-curricular club and we're excited to learn about social robots and programming them for the junior school. Our first step was talking with the junior school. We took a survey with the junior school parents and asked what we should have included and what we should have excluded in the programme to help the junior school children read. I think this club is a really excellent opportunity for us to be able to combine lots of different subjects, things like psychology and other aspects of robotics which we don't do in computer science. Our project was talking about reforming prisons and maybe moving more to rehabilitation than to imprisonment and a sentence. In terms of politics, we were looking at what our policy is that we've chosen and how feasible it was in terms of implementing it. And then in terms of economics, we were looking at how much it would cost and the comparison between choosing rehabilitation and the cost of that as opposed to prison sentences. And then in terms of philosophy, we were looking at why it's morally right to be choosing this for prisoners. And this multidisciplinary approach has been really interesting and exciting because it shows you how many similar skills each of these topics include and by learning these skills together and applying them together you also learn how to apply them to a multitude of different subjects. I'm part of History Girls which is our history club and in recent months we've joined up with It's Critical and the Politics Society to form It's Historical which is kind of our collaboration club where we can look at all of these subjects from an interdisciplinary perspective. And recently we looked at Caribbean literature, post-colonialism, um, and that allowed us to examine it from a literary perspective while also completely understanding the context. And we expand that to so many different topics. I think it's really important because I don't think that any one subject can fully answer a question without the help of others. And I don't think you can truly accomplish anything without the influence of other different subjects. I was looking at the relationship between serve speed and winning points using data from the Wimbledon Championships. So I was looking at the difference between men and women and first and second serves of whether serving faster actually helped you win more points. I was really excited to use a big data set because this is used a lot in biochemistry which is what I want to go into in the future and so I thought this was a great opportunity to start learning how to use that data early on and really find some interesting results. I think I was really able to tie together sport and science with a mass and statistical outlook on tennis. This research is now out in the real world, it's been published in an international journal. It's quite unusual for a school student to be publishing a paper, but I think that the Wimbledon High approach is that you can do anything, even when you're just a teenager. We are trying to eradicate microplastics from aquatic bodies. We created this robot and it uses a ferrofluid to remove microplastics and so that they don't harm marine life. And we've had lots of opportunities like meeting with industry experts, companies and generally just improving on a lot of the skills and learning lots of new skills. We started off thinking about our idea and the problem we wanted to solve which was microplastics. 
once we've come up with our idea, we entered into the Amazon Longitude Explorer Prize, uh, which we were fortunate enough to get into the finals of. The amazing work that Laura and Elsby have done really embodies the STEAM ethos that we have running through the school. They took ideas from across the curriculum, biology, geography, DT, English, and combined all of that into really interesting, innovative, new idea to solve real world problems. And that's the joy of STEAM really, tinkering at the boundaries of subjects and doing something completely new.